actually does help if I turn on the mic. Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Live, etc. <laughs> we ha we're, I'm, I'm having a few technical difficulties uh, today in my life and everything else, but apart from that, it's all good, he says. Um kind of right uh so shall we shall we start the show sound like a plan so if this oh, music if, if yeah. this mu if this music's too um, loud i, I apologize because i'm having to use something completely different here we go <laughs> three two one actually it does help if i turn on the mic hi everybody thanks for tuning in <laughs> It also helps if I turn off the audio. My end. Oh, it's <laughs> I thought, oh my god, that's me. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I thought that was me. Then I was looking through all my tabs, looking uh... to see which one of this is going. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, oh, was <laughs> can we just call it now, please? <laughs> no, never. Live to hard drive. You know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, uh, yeah. one. Right, welcome to the LARP Book Podcast. Uh, I think I'm coming a little bit in a hot on my mic looking at the red meter, so let's just do this a little bit. Uh, right, um, this is episode, he says, bringing up the thing he should have. She's having to use more screens than bloody normal to do this. Episode 44, October the 4th, 2016. Uh, I'm I'm Stuart Edwards. Uh, with me, as always, is uh, Thomas. I'm trying to grow back my beard, Busby. I don't have to try very hard. <laughs> uh, Robert, uh, no. I seem to be in some sort of wonderful contraption... Uh, place that looks kind of like a castle, but not quite Davis. Tree house, and I'm fresh out of the hot tub. <laughs> oh, excellent! And we have Adam Cooper with us tonight. Hi, Adam. Hello. How are you all? I well, oh. I'm well, uh, good. Apart from um, the sheer fact, I'm I'm literally now having to juggle screens <laughs> to make this work, and I will I will I'll suss it out. And I'll get there, right? This is the first time we're trying it. So first time we're on uh, Facebook Live to see uh, how this works. So we'll just crack on with the show, I think. Smash it. And I'll just awesome. f fade out that music really professionally. Look at that. Look at ah. that. <laughs> Award winning. Award winning. <laughs> and now my wife is coming as well to probably wonder what the hell's going on. It's really one of those shows, isn't it? It's, it's going to be... You reckon you're professional? No, 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 we're not. It, it, the, the professional bit was said in pure sarcasm. Okay. <laughs> uh, right then, so so Adam, hi. Uh, welcome to the show. Oh. The hi, broadcast man. was poor. Oh, there we go. We're good. We're good. Sorry. Ah. I'm keeping an eye on Facebook. Okay, no awesome. worries. Are we, are we back? Are we okay? We're yeah. good. We're good. We're, we're good. Sorted. We're, we're just going to keep going regardless, mate. Whatever happens from this point forwards, yeah, we'll, 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 just, we'll just keep going regardless now. You know. All right, let's ride the train. Let's do it. Let's exactly. Do it. You, you've got it. So, hi, Adam. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thank you for having me on the show. <laughs> not a problem. Um, I want Adam's shirt. <laughs> Apparently, my, my wife wants your shirt, mate. Oh, this one? Yeah. Can't have this one. <laughs> you can't have it, sorry. Because uh, no. I think he wants that shirt. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> anyway. <come on. laughs> so, it is a good shirt. The, um... <laughs> She's giggling. She's giggling as she walking away now, mate. Uh, right then, so... Um, right, we kind of found you, uh, I think, pretty much by accident, if I remember rightly. We search for everything to do with LARP, right? Because when when you are when you own the website that is basically almost number one or number two in the search for LARP related news or anything like that, guess what? It's difficult to find stuff about LARP, <laughs> <laughs> right? So 
Okay. Um, okay. We did, and and I I basically I'm 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 a YouTube fanatic. I love just pouring through lots of stuff, and I I know I eventually did find you. I thought I thought oh yeah, I like this guy. He's funny. Um, <laughs> and then <laughs> that, then a good sign. And then I showed Robert, or Robert showed me. I can't remember which way around because we always looking for for stuff, right? Um, and then we said we just got to get him on the show because we like this guy. He's funny, you know. So now you've got a lot to live up to. Uh, well, hopefully I do. Uh, I've, I've, I've been a disappointment most of my life, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we all? Join the club, mate. Yeah. Join the club. <laughs> We, we only do this for, uh, you know, because we have nothing else better to do with our lives, to be honest. Uh, much the same with me and YouTube. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, At least my mum watches my videos. Well, oh, really yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can't even get our mums to no, watch we, this. No, we, we, my mum doesn't doesn't watch it at all. She no. In fact, we the tried. last, she did say, she, and she went, yeah, it could be better. <laughs> so, Cheers, you know. mum. Yeah, thanks. thanks. No, she she my my mum loves the show. Um, Number one. Now fan. now now I've got to pay her a fiver. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so tell every tell, time you said every time I say <laughs> every time yes. Um, so tell us a little bit about what you do uh, with your uh, y- your YouTube channel and the videos. So what I mostly try to do uh, is just generally spread the good word of LARP. Uh, I suppose that's the best way of putting it. Yeah. Um, I started off with a couple of hots and knots videos. So it's the old Facebook staple after an event, people doing hots and knots. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Yeah. Did my first little video we won last year, the last uh, E4 Empire last year. Okay. So I did a video of that. People seemed to like it. Did one for the next couple that I went to. And then I've started to sort of think, how can I progress this and turn it into a more LARP focused channel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so recently, I've done a couple of costume tutorials uh, for Future's End, which is an event I uh, NPC'd. Uh, weekend just gone, actually. Uh, came back on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and then sort of character creation, things like that. And then eventually, I want to move into uh, LARP based short films. Oh, okay. Right. So oh, actually, cool. taking people's characters and then, you know, actually making a film of their character, their backstory, and uh, sort of that nice sort of downtime between events where you just sort of type out what they're doing, actually turn it into something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like that idea uh, quite a lot. Actually, that's uh, that is a cracking one. Uh, and in fact, we we may know a number of people that might be able to help out with that. And uh, that would be awesome. Uh, get, getting bodies is the hardest bit when you're behind the camera and you're trying to film yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I, know. I think you'd have chat a few people we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah. We've we we've done that. So, certainly trying to. get... <laughs> You know, I even bought a steady cam, mate, and all the rest of it to try to, you know, make it all better. And okay, um, you know, and, uh, and, it, and, it, and it's still like, right, okay, how how am I gonna uh, spin this so I'm slow my arms out like that? And hello, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's 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 not not the easiest of things. Um. So, so right. So I think I saw the video of you detailing some of the co- yeah it was, it was it was a costume one yes uh, i believe it was the boots one was the first one that i did yeah yeah does that sound about right boots yeah. i think it was, I think it was. <laughs> the boots one yeah and there you go Fair. tom tom's had enough he's back oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Hi, buddy. laughs> um <laughs> professional show tell you the uh well, at least he's got his green screen up this time. He's not got any background on it, but at least he's got his green screen up. That's probably because his bedroom is a shit tip. <laughs> I'd get the missus to sort ours out for uh, for this. <laughs> That's why I've got a green screen. I'm not stupid, right? <laughs> the um, yeah. So I was I was quite quite interested uh, in in the videos that you do, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, you've already told us that you want to expand this now into. Uh, character you know people's characters and stuff and and, mm-hmm. and, and do videos along that line um do you do you have any sort of bigger aspirations than than that do you, do you want what is it what's your end goal there we go uh youtube superstardom and all the mad youtube monies 
No. <laughs> and all the dollars, Good man, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> got, to, got, to, got to be rolling in it, you know. I'm still young. I might be able to make it. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, it's at the moment, it's kind of just a nice hobby. Um, I actually studied film production at university anyway. Uh, so I just kind of want to pick up where I left off there. Because I, I enjoy making films, is the long and short of it. So okay. Okay. with the short film stuff that I want to move into, it's just you know a nice hobby and sort of if people appreciate it, that's absolutely amazing. Obviously, you guys have said that you've enjoyed it, and that's, yeah. that's absolutely fantastic. Um, I think one of the nicest things at the moment is when I go to LARP events and actually crossing paths with people that have watched videos of mine and said, I, I really like it. That's yeah, okay. that's awesome. That's absolutely really fantastic. You know, plus it's a conversation starting to meet new people, which is always great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we get that. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, you got oh, somebody. Hang on. You're the so and so from. Yeah. You just easy. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, yeah. I, mean I, know, oh, sorry. I know Rob's definitely, definitely kind of kind of had that experience where, where someone's mm. gone, you know, oh, aren't you the guy from? And then naturally says, yeah. no, I'm not from NCIS or anything like that. Um, <laughs> then, uh, then you know, and it was in fact it was it was through that that we actually met um, Emmy Lou, uh, who who can't be with yes, us tonight, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. Uh, but it was you know it was from that that we met Emmy Lou uh, and what have you, and then of course uh, went to the um, Curious Pastimes event, um, and through doing this sort of thing as well, you know, we managed to get um, Klaus uh, Rastad on the show as well and he invited us to a LARP which we're going to next month in Poland Ooh. um so keep keep tuned for that oh. everybody because we'll we'll be doing a few live events I think Fantastic. On, yeah, that on, nice. yeah on the way there yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna be like, doing a lot of trip and uh <laughs> yeah we the event. yeah we we we're gonna try yeah. to do it on 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 like the the, the whole experience you know from start to to finish yeah so, so so kind of that whole getting ready the character creation side of things through to actually getting there because obviously yeah. i imagine a lot of people have never done a, a, a lap abroad exactly exactly and then well, the whole general experience yeah. Cause actually i think one of the the biggest things that probably puts people off doing it is maybe the language barrier there isn't one yes okay yeah yeah but i will it, I... It, 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 you presume one and you think mm. it's going to be one they've been prepping for this lap now and they, they made English the official language of it. Oh, fair enough. Which is actually been stupid easy for us because everyone's been speaking English. Yeah, I mean, oh, amazing. I, mean I mean, basically, as 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 soon as we joined the the, the particular Facebook group and mm -hmm. the the chat channels, etc., the first the first well sentences uh, uh, typed from the things right we've got a couple of uh, guys here from England now who only speak English, so it's English from this point forward. So there that's, was there was no language sound. barrier. That's really sound of them. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's, and that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, and fair play, they have been you yeah. know true to their word. There's been no uh, no hurdy birdy goody uh, or what have you uh, coming into the the chats at all. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the last in Poland, but it's being organised by by a bunch of Danes and Norwegians. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so there's there is no there, there is no language barrier. Fair play to them. Um, that's been quite cool. So, yeah. So we are we are going to do the the, the whole thing. Um, and you've gone black and white. Yeah, we just lost Tom and we've lost Adam. Okay. Well, we've lost Tom. I don't know where he's gone. He's legged it. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, you're back. No, he's not. Okay. Okay, uh, guys. Yeah. I've got a project. I'm just called away now. So, yeah. I don't have my project has been to just a short hello, but I'll try and get you on another time. And I'll leave you to his mercies and promises when he comes back. Yeah, no problem, bud. Um, thank you so much. No worries. Okay, guys. Thank you. See you later, Rob. Okay, so this, this, is, this is fun, everybody. Uh, we seem to be having one or two technical issues. Uh, stay tuned. I'll entertain you. Um, let's see what 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 else have we got to actually talk about tonight? Um, bah, 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 bah. Uh, 
La, 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 la. There were other things. We've been we've been given a video to review. I'll I'll talk more about that in a mo. Um. I really hope that this is actually still going out. <laughs> <laughs> so this is working so well let me have a little look let me just see da, 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 da. yes it is a live video you are absolutely um, correct let me pause that uh, technology you gotta love it I don't know where Tom's gone <sighs> tell you what I'll go over there. I'll be big on the screen. That's fine. So, any questions from anybody? How not to do a live video? Let's have a look. What does that say? The thing, okay. <laughs> Who's that? You vanished do, 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 do. let me just bring up the live video so we can see if there are any uh, comments actually coming up hello again <laughs> let's put you back over there Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Um, right. I have no idea what happened then. No, no me. <laughs> I, I, I literally... Technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Rob, Rob had to go. Uh, he was called away. Tom still yeah, hasn't I, come I back. Yeah, I caught that bit. <laughs> yeah, Tom still hasn't come back. And I was sad you all day. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Luckily, it doesn't look as though anybody's commenting on this at all. They're probably going like, what dudes? What are you doing? So anyway, let's let's chat. Let's, yes, let's, <laughs> let's let's chat. It's 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 only you you and I. It's just between you. There's nobody else watching. That's <laughs> fair enough. There, there is actually quite a few people watching. So thank you very much, everybody that's watching. Hello. Um, if you if you want to leave any comments or what have you um, in the chat, please do. Uh, we'll respond to any questions because yes, definitely that'd be awesome. You, you know, not a problem there at all. That's what this is all about. Yeah, it's all about you. It's not about me. It's all about you. Um, yes. So, um, what other, what what other videos ha have you done? Because I know I know you've done the one about um, you know the the the. Do you know what? I think the one I watched. I'm sure it was. It could not. It might not. No. Yeah. It was the boots. Yeah. The boots. It was yeah. you definitely. Um, you've done what you you've done one on. Um, have you, you've done one on what to take to laps. Yeah, uh, that that was quite an interesting one actually. Uh, it was kind of did it on the spur of the moment, just before Empire's third event of the year, so E three, uh, so sort of mid July. Yeah. Um, and actually, the other week, uh, Epic Armory shared it on their Facebook page, which was awesome. Okay, cool. So, so they sort of found it as well. Uh, yeah, that yeah. was really cool. But yeah, it was just kind of the the OC essentials and all the things that I actually forgot to take to my first lab event. So things like a decent sleeping bag and actual camping bed. I ended up sleeping um, on a deflated air mattress in a summer weather sleeping bag when it was about minus 10. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I may have uh, messed that one up a little bit. <laughs> you may have been slightly cold that night. Yeah, a little bit. Well, yeah, all that weekend. All that weekend, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, it was, it, was, it was very, very interesting first lap event, put it that way. Because yeah. I haven't actually been lapping all that long, really. How, uh, long ha is... how long have you been lapping? Because you're probably in the same boat as Tom, I expect. Um, this September, so it's just gone September, so just over three years now. <coughs> yeah, sorry, Scooby. Um, yes, you. It's about, it's about three to four years. <coughs> sorry, one moment. <coughs> Quick glass of water. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, it's been about three or four years since since Tom started larping. Okay. Um, so he's he's relatively new to the scene as well. Um, I've been LARPing since I was uh, about 13, 14, so that's 30-odd years ago. 
Okay. Yeah, so... Quite, I, quite I, some time, then. I've been LARPing for quite some time. So, as you can see, haven't grown up. No point, as far as I'm concerned. Exactly. Um, <laughs> and, um, so, were you, you know, I... It's one of the things that that, that, that I, I, I do kind of ask. Were you heavily into tabletop roleplay, etc., before you started LARP, or...? No, I did it completely backwards. Excellent. So... At the time, uh, I was when the whole sort of LARP concept was introduced to me. I was working at Games Workshop, right? Yeah, um, and my boss went to one LT event. Yeah, about four years before I started working there, um, and he said it was absolutely amazing. Then Empire came around. Okay, it was like the the first time they were running it. Yeah, yeah, and we went cool. This sounds like a great game. Let's get involved. Um, a friend of ours who is actually the head of the Archers Guild yeah, at yeah. LT was going it's like fantastic he can sort of scout it out let us know yeah and then we can get involved um and we we, we actually we, we did it in such a weird way as well because a, a lot of people i know who go laughing uh, for the first time go okay let's go and let's go get straight into it we did about uh six to seven months of combat training and tactics and okay. you know planning so when we hit the field we were we were already at a relatively decent combat level okay um, but going back to the original question, instead of just going off on a random tangent, nope, uh, I didn't tangents. actually start tabletop roleplay until I'd already been LARPing for about six months or so. Okay. Think. So, yeah, you, you, you really did it uh, all, all backwards. Yeah, um, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tom. Hey, dude. I, I forget there's a camera and I'm just Hello. waving aimlessly. <laughs> um. Everything okay? Not really, but carry on. <laughs> okay, no, right, fine, no problem. Well, Rob's had to vanish. You vanished. Okay. Uh, Adam's stream stopped, and it was just me for a bit. <laughs> yeah, that was all good. Going strong. This is a good one, guys. <laughs> no, I, I can, I can talk to myself all night. You know that. It's not a problem. But, yeah, know, yeah. It, you know, um, but just saying. So you know, um, Adam's been role playing about the same, about the same length of time as you. Oh right, yeah. So right, ab cool. ab about two, three years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but he did it completely ass about face. Uh, he, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't really deny that one, can I? You know, yeah. he he did LARP before tabletop. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, it was it, yeah. it wasn't through lack of trying. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've been sort of enthralled by tabletop for many years. It's just I've never found a group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, yeah, it's kind of like the hardest thing to do ever, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it it, it actually is, and in fact, um, I'm I'm only part of a group of friends, and I was told that when I I, I joined this particular group, and bearing in mind I've I've known these people most of my life, yeah, was you've got to turn up every week. If you can't turn <laughs> up every week, don't join the group. Yeah, that yeah. Was, that was the. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, I can turn up. It's not a problem, you know. If you can, don't bother. Yeah, and it really, really was. Um, mm -hmm. And 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 I've been working on them to get Rob in to the group as well. Okay. Right, because he's also been friends with these people most of his life, also. Mm. Yeah, and they were yeah. like, they were like, yeah, but will he turn up every? <laughs> I'm sure he will, because yeah. you know, it's 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 almost like you're asking someone. Make sure you're there so we can actually do the surgery. Otherwise, someone's going to die. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. And that's a good way of putting it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. It's, I'll even pick him up. It's not a problem, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it is, it is difficult to actually find a group, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> okay. That came up on screen, by the way, Tom. <laughs> so if anybody didn't get that in the text, uh, it looks like Tom's about to go away and uh, throw up. So um, the joys of live broadcasting uh, is, is all. Oh, is yes. Oh, yes. So how, how did uh, you actually get into LARPing then? Because obviously this was 30 years ago before. Yeah. I, you know, I think definitely in more recent years, it's become a lot more visible. Especially yes, with the, you know, the the invention of the internet. Yeah, it's way it's way more mainstream now than it ever has been. You know, it was fortuitous that we started doing the LARP book webpage and the podcast mm. when we did. 
uh, to be honest with you. Just um, just sort of hit the peak of the interest and sort of rode it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was just like, I want to do a podcast and, and we just decided to put it on LARP because we, you know, Rob and I do the, the LARP book website. Yeah. Uh, and, and that was it, really. Um, how did I get into it? Good God. Uh, a group, a group of, of, of the similar friends that do the tabletop stuff mm. asked me to come along to one of their LARPs, which was uh, a group called Fear of the Dark. All right. Okay. Maiden reference or? Um, Iron Maiden. No, it, 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 it I, I know, I know, I know it was Iron Maiden. It literally was the style of role play that they do. Right. Which, which is basically um, modern day horror. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, started off with the usual zombie fests because they're easy uh, mm -hmm. in, in in that respect, um, and then uh, very you know very, very nicely smoothly transitioned into um, psychological uh, horror, uh, which was uh, very effective uh, in, in that respect. So that's that's how I got into it. Um, in, in in you know those many 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 moons ago uh and uh fear the dark are actually uh going to be uh, 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 making a comeback uh, okay we've we've managed to um persuade we'll use that term um the the children of the fear of the dark group to get involved and basically to kick their respective parents up the backside <laughs> to you know, start the group back up again. That's uh, awesome. And they have done. And 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 there there are there are uh, there's games coming next year. They've already been pre booked, etc. Um, and what have you. And we'll so, and we'll see how that goes. See if we still got that magic. <laughs> you know. Um. So we. Yeah, it's 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 going to be nice to go back to, to that psychological. Um modern day horror scenarios yeah because yeah. what i what i've been doing pretty much and predominantly mm. and probably yourself sounding uh what, what it sounds like is um fantasy laps put a sword in your hand uh off you go hacking at the monsters yeah mm -hmm. um so it is it is good to to get out there to see what else is actually um available to you in in the style of genres yeah, definitely. I mean, one of the things I'm looking at at the moment, because I've, uh, up until this year, I'd only played Empire. Yeah. Um, it's all I'd known. I'd only known fast-sized fast games. Yeah. Um, earlier this year, I went to my first LT, obviously along a very similar line yeah. uh, with a bit more high fantasy. Um, it's only since going to Future's End that I've yeah. played a different style of game. Okay. Um, and now I'm actively looking at other games like Wasteland UK, yeah, uh, sort of going for that poster park and just kind of sort yeah. of putting feelers out and playing different games or seeing what I actually really like. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I don't think I'd get on too well with psychological horror, if I'm entirely honest. Um, I think I'd end Sorry. up in the corner going, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we like people like you. Come along. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we're, uh, we're, I've... I suppose I've tried a whole different, uh, you know, n number of different style of LARPs over the mm. years. Um, I do, I, I do like the high fantasy stuff because it's, it's that, that is, that is pure escapism for me, you know, uh, go back to the days where, where men were men and sheep were frightened. Um, and that sort of thing, you know, where, where, where women were quite happy for you to hold open a door and be chivalrous and, and all the rest of it. A uh, bit of controversy there. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> seeing if I can actually start a chat happening. No. Right. <laughs> um, you mentioned Drowgate and we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. There's the, you know, kill the drow, kill the drow. Anyway, um, <laughs> the, um, so, so right. So, You've got a channel. How can people find you on, on the two of the Ube? Uh The two of the Ube? Mm. Uh So my YouTube channel is uh, forward slash Adman Coop. But nine times out of ten, if you just type in Adam Cooper LARP, uh, you'll either find me or a ballet dancer. 
Yes, I did notice that. Yes, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> I share the same name as a very, very talented ballet dancer who played, fun fact, uh, played Billy Elliot uh, when he was older at yeah. the end of the film. Yeah. So, so <laughs> in, you know, so you could lay claim to that that not only are you a world famous ballet dancer, but you also do LARP. Uh, yes, I could actually. Uh, one of my favourite LARPs is Swan Lake. Well, they, you know, and, and <laughs> we've we've all we've all been there and done that one. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a really fun game. Huh? Yeah, it's it's a little bit highbrow on times, but apart from that, you know, it's uh, it's it's definitely worth worth partaking um, in my mind, <laughs> and only in my mind. The <laughs> um, so what's what's your next project? Uh, so at the moment, so as I said, I've just come back from Future's End. And I was lucky enough to be able to film a, film a lot of that game. So currently I'm working on sort of bringing it all together and making it into a viewable piece that isn't just loads of scenes cut together. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed that there, there is an upward trend of people going to lab games with GoPros. Uh, okay, we've yeah, seen yeah, a little yeah. bit of, uh, of it from Empire. We've, we've seen quite a bit of it from CP, actually. Yeah. Um, with the 360 yeah. fight, uh, the, the experiment they did with that. Uh, and it's just kind of seeing how far, uh, as a community of LARPers are now actively filming stuff, we can actually take that. Yeah. Can we, you know, actually start t- telling a narrative instead of just showing one-off battles and start using it to actually promote the hob- hobby in a really positive way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that idea a lot. Yeah. So I think one of the, the things that a lot of people are seeing is that went hugely viral is a clip of, it must be an American LARP, where the, the lad is casting lightning bolt. Yeah, on a monster in a you know burn up sack job, uh, and I think people have watched that and got quite a negative view of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, all we got to do is go into the YouTube comments and see all the uh, hate and vitriol in there. Yeah. So yeah. it's actually repainting the image of LARP in the same way that tabletop role play is now kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. I could not agree with you anymore. Um, in fact, when when we talk to Klaus, I, I, I've got to say his name that way, by the way. Um, he was saying that, that especially in Britain, especially in, 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 in the mm. UK, um, the the media seems to hate us and just want to ridicule us. Yeah, it does. It does a pretty good job of that, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, it, it it's a tough one. I don't know if it's because it's kind of still at that stage of it's coming to the forefront now. Yeah, but it you know let's be honest, it's massively nerdy. It's people dressing up and hitting each other. Yeah, for, for you know it's playing pretend for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but there will come a crossing point where it becomes more mainstream. We're starting to see it introduced into some films. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know if you have seen like things like Role Models and Knights of Badass. Them. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're not the the greatest portrayal. No, but but they they but, but they're not there. terrible. But they're, they're not a terrible portrayal either, because especially the role models one. Mm. Um, yeah, no worries, Tom. Mate, you 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 crack on and go and be uh, ill, mate. Uh, th- yeah, thanks well, for soon. tuning up. Yeah, well soon, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Always will. Bye, bud. Um, the, you know, especially in 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 role models, even though it's done in a. In, in, an, in, in quite a nerdy way at least in that movie it's about the you know companionship and yeah it, uh, it carries a really positive message yeah, I was, that right, yeah. it, it, you know it's helping the character Oggy sort of integrate and be more sociable yeah and then like the main character is actually accepting him for who he is as well yeah exactly and I think that's a really cool message yeah I, I agree with that Um, but yeah you hop over the pond, you know, to Europe and, and what have you, and over the water, and um, what a different, well, a completely different story. Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. You know the the media, the media, you know, po- it, it, do these things in such a positive light, and with good journalism, and um, excellent storytelling, uh, and what have you. Uh, which is which is which is is why Klaus uh, says he'll never basically really, you know, he doesn't want to come to Great Britain to run his laps. 
it's as simple as that. He has got one over here. Yeah. Um, as an as I think a bit of an experiment. Uh, to, okay. To, to see if, if, if it'll fly. Uh, but he said he just, you know he can't get the same sort of media um, uh, frenzy then for for his laps uh, over here as he can uh, over in Poland or anywhere else where they go oh, great great let's you know fantastic love it and 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 really do a very good story on it rather than you know doing look at the nerds look at the nerds look at the nerds yeah the, 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 like I say with the portrayal I think as well especially with some of the European labs the bigger ones like Dragon Fest Epic Empires yeah. um, College of Wizardry is getting yeah. there as well um, and even on the opposite side of the pond over towards Canada way yeah. uh, things like Bickerline the production value is insane yeah. And they have permanent sites. I think this is one of the biggest things that plagues UK Lab. It's actually finding a permanent site that caters to all the needs of the game. Yeah, agreed. Uh, you know, Profound Decisions have had a terrible time of it. Uh, we're in the fourth year of Empire and we're on our third site. Yeah, that'd be about right. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's I, I don't, you know, it's just through the people not wanting to say anymore. I don't, I don't know why that is. But you look at games like Bickerline, they have a permanent site. Yeah. They've cleared out a load of forest. They've built a village. In fact, they've built a city. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think last, last time I checked the website, I had 90 plus hard standing buildings yeah. built by players. Yeah. That's just incredible. Yeah. And, and, and in fact, they actually have, um, they have weekends and stuff and what have you, where people can, mm. you know, where they encourage people to come in and help them build it and make it better. You know, um, over here, yeah, not so much. Uh, we we do have an angle on. Uh, there's a place uh, up by us in the Forest of Dean uh, called the Wilderness Centre. Uh, now, we'll, oh, oh, is it about Oakraven? Yeah, no, 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 not Oakraven. It's by there. Okay. It's not far from there, actually. Ah. But there's a a stately manor home. Um, right. Not not far from there. Uh, called the Wilderness Centre. It's primarily used as an out and bounds things for for kids. Yeah, so mm. schools can take them there and have fun activities and what have you. But the gentleman that's that's running the place is is a fun. He's a geek. It's an absolute geek, right? And, and um, I love the bloke to, to bits. Yeah, because he he when he found out that LARP groups wanted to come there to use the place, he was like, "Yes, please come, please come and use our, our facilities. You know, whatever you whatever you need, we'll find a way to provide it." You know, and that's also awesome. that's really cool. Yeah, you know, and it's getting more places like that on board, and they are quietly coming on board because they're suddenly realizing, hang on, these guys use this stuff over the weekend when we're not making any money off it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, um, well, let's 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 encourage them. Let's encourage them to come in. Well, this is it, and you know, I, I I've only really done sort of large scale games. I don't know what it's like for smaller games. Yeah. I've never run one. I've never really. I've never attended a game that's had less than fifty players. Yeah, um, and that was only because uh, it was F- Future Zen's first event, and since then it's doubled yeah, in yeah. the space of an event. Okay, um, but you know, there's certainly a lot of call for it, and because these games are you know large enough, it, you know, places can turn around and go. Actually, we're not using it this weekend. Give us a grand. It's like that. Full have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, you know, it's it, it's a profitable business. It's LARP. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I, I really wish more sites would, would cotton on to that. You know, scout camps that are not using it on a particular weekend. Um, we love scout camps mm-hmm. because they've got everything that we, we could possibly need, there, especially for the high fantasy stuff. Or or even if, if you're doing things like uh, Wild West and all that malarkey, you know, use some of the buildings, make it a tavern, you know, make it a bar, whatever type thing. Definitely, definitely. And it's nice to see some um, actually different sites hiring out to LARP as well, because have you heard of a game called Good, the Bad and the Dead? I have. They actually rent the World West History. I think, I think it's like a history centre. Yes, it is. Um, and yeah. that's amazing that they get to actually play in those buildings instead of it just being a museum for the entire year. I think that's incredible. And I, th- I think... Yeah. I think the more games that happen at these places and the word gets out that actually we're not coming to your site we're not trashing it yeah we're, we're looking after the place yeah yeah because um, we because we want to use it again and again and again exactly exactly 
you know, players and crew want to keep using the site. Yeah. Um, and funnily enough, people that own the place probably want the money. Yeah, exactly. So uh, what we need to do now is a, uh, a science fiction LARP at the Science Museum uh, and what have you. And uh, I'll be a happy chap. Be a winner. <laughs> yeah. yeah cool well adam thank you very much for coming on and uh putting up with our technical difficulties no it's been an absolute pleasure i've really enjoyed myself you know and and tom having to disappear and throw up uh robert being called away so it was just a chat between you and i in the end um so thank you very much for for, for sticking with us um but do keep in touch yeah yeah definitely definitely do do keep in touch you know just just contact us when you've you, you've got something else going on or what have you or even um if there's if there's something you 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 want to know about uh, etc just knock on the door man we'll you know we'll we'll see what we can do Simple yeah that. awesome I, I mean i'm looking at going to cp next year i, I think uh it's how it's going back so yeah. it'd be a pretty pretty good catch up then as well that'd be ace Excellente. That is fantastic. Right, okay, just give me a second while I bring up the other screen. I got three monitors here and I still haven't got enough screens, man. It's a little bit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do the end of the show bit. Let's do down that a little bit. Right, okay. Um, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for coming along, Adam. Um, it was fantastic talking to you. It was a lot of fun, even through all the wonderful technical difficulties that we had. Um, music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, if, if you want to go along to Patreon, I'm not sure why at this moment, uh, <laughs> to actually sort of uh, help us uh, with all the technical difficulties that we have by giving us some of your money, then please do patreon.com forward slash LARPbook. Uh, we do have a shop, it's over on Redbubble, uh, redbubble.com. Go over there and have a look at some of the wonderful swag that we have. Uh, you can listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher. It'll be up on YouTube um, and Podbean. Just search for LARPbook. If you want to ask us any questions, just email the show, LARPbookShow at gmail.com, and you'll get right through to me or Rob. Simple as that. The website is LARPbook.com. Uh, news reviews, lots of wonderful stuff happening over there all of the time. And, of course, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Just search for LARPbook. You will find us. It's as simple as that. Uh, and don't forget to give us a five-star review on iTunes or whatever you use to listen to this podcast. Uh, we have had a few on there, and they've all been five stars, and that's been fantastic. Thank you, guys. That'll really help us out. Uh, the show notes will be, uh, can be found when we put us all up over at LARPbook.com. So that's it from me. Uh, I'm Stuart. Uh, that's Adam. And yes, this is me. Yes, is you. And, and good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. <laughs> How about that for timing? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>